Okay, so now, do you want us to use the same equation to illustrate elimination method? Or do you want us to use a different equation? Okay, let's use the same equation. So we're just using elimination method now. So the equation is, uh, what's the original equation again? X plus two y equal to three and X minus two y equal to four. So let's write it again. X plus two y equal to three and X minus two y equal to. So now here's the, here's the condition of uh, elimination. You must make sure while trying to solve elimination, you must make sure that the coefficient of either x and of the first equation, either that the coefficient of x and x are the same, or the coefficient of y and y are the same. You must make sure. So, and that's not always the case. But in this particular case, uh, we are even lucky that uh, the coefficient of x for the first one is one, the coefficient of X for the second one is also one. So, and the same thing happens to uh, the Y section of it. So, which means uh, this is gonna be easy. So now, since the coefficient of uh, X and Y are the same, so all you do is you add them, you add them. So when you add the first one, X plus X gives you two X, you see? When you add in 2y plus negative 2y, it gives you what? Nothing. Zero. It gives you nothing. Nothing is, <laughs> nothing is not a number. Zero is a number, right? Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you. And then when you add that uh, uh, 3 and uh, 4, it gives you 7. So this time around, you are having 2x equal to 7. So x will be you know, when you divide both sides by two, seven over two. So X, X will be equal to seven over two. So in this particular example, elimination is actually faster. So now, since you now, since you have uh, obtained your X, you will use the value of X and substitute to either equation one or equation two. It doesn't matter, all right? So let's use equation one. Let's substitute x here. Um, so we are going to, let's say substitute, substitute, some of you call it plug-in, substitute x equal to seven over two into equation one. So if you do that, uh, that is going to give you seven over two plus two y equal to three. So in this case, you are going to solve for y, right? So here's a trick, here's a trick. Let me give you this trick right now. So if you have this type of uh, expression, the best thing you need to do is to multiply every term by two so that you can eliminate these two. That will, that will save you from manipulating fraction, which might be a longer process. So if I just multiply this by two, by two, by two, by two, every term of it. So if I do that, that's gonna give me two will cancel two. So we are left with seven here. Two times two will give us four y. Two times three will give us what, six. Now you're solving for y. So you have to transfer seven to the other side. So that's gonna give us four y equal to six minus seven. And six minus seven gives us negative one, four y. And if you divide both sides by four, y gives us negative one over four. So our first solution is correct, okay? So I need to do at least one more example of this um, elimination method, at least using an example that you have to make that doesn't have the same um, coefficient. So let me do one, let me find one example that doesn't have the same coefficient. Okay, I found one. Any questions so far before I move on? So this is gonna be my last example before I give you the task. Okay, no question. So let's do another example three, but we are going to use uh, elimination. So example three. 
So solve the system of equation using elimination. Solve the equation using elimination. Okay, so what's the equation? The equation is x equal to 2y minus 5 and then 3x minus y, 3x minus y equal to 5. Okay, so that's the equation. Now, what do you do? You can see, you can see that the first one, this first one, let me uh, put a, a status on it, is not arranged like the second one. So all you need to do is just to make an adjustment to arrange it by moving this to y, moving it to the left side, by moving it to the left side. So if you move 2y to the left side, you are going to get that this one is x minus 2y equal to negative 5. So they, I just worked on this. All right. So these two equations now, these two equations, this one that I'm circling right now, are the ones we are going to solve. Okay. So now if you take a look at it, you can see. Uh, you can actually call it equation one now, and you call this one equation two. If you take a look at it, you will discover that the coefficient of x on equation two is one, while the coefficient of x in equation one is three. The same thing happens. In equation one here, the coefficient is one. The coefficient of this one is two. So they are not the same. So that brings us to a situation whereby we must force we must force it to be the same so how do we do that so the choice will be the choice will be yours so you can decide to choose either the first equation or the second equation so if you are choosing the first equation um you will be multiplying by two you'll be multiplying it by two everything by two if you are choosing the second equation You'll be multiplying everything by three. So which one do you choose? First one. Okay, choosing first one. So now I am going to say multiply, multiply. This is multiply. Um, equation one by two. So if we do that, we are going to obtain six X minus two Y equal to 10. Wait, Mr. Koigbu. Yes. Shouldn't it be negative two? It doesn't matter. You can do negative, uh, you can do positive. It doesn't matter. All right. I mean, if you do, if you do, um, it doesn't really matter, but uh, one is going to be eliminated anyway. Let's, let's do it with positive and then you will we'll, we'll see. All right. All right, so now the second one now, you just rewrite it. You, you rewrite it. You will rewrite the second equation, which is x minus what? 2y equal to what? Negative 5. So this is the equation that you will be eliminating now. So how do you do the elimination? You introduce a negative here. Introduce a negative here. Once you introduce a negative, you'll be having negative times. I have a question. Yes. Why did you multiply equation one by two? Yeah, I wanted to make sure that uh, the coefficient of y is the same. Okay. That's the reason. So if I if I if I if I pick if you had picked uh, equation two, I would have multiplied by three because that's the only thing that will make equation one the coefficient of x to be the same on both on both equations, okay? So let's move on. So you see, you notice that I introduced a negative here and this negative is going to impact everything on the denominator. So now negative times positive here will give us negative. So now you are going to have six minus, minus x, one x, six x minus uh, one x is gonna give us five x. Now, this very negative minus this very negative, uh, I'm sorry, not minus, this negative multiplied by this negative will give us positive. 
So let me be so that we don't confuse it. So negative times negative is positive. So this will change the sign of the uh, of this very one. And then if it changes the sign, this is 2y. So you are going to have negative 2y plus 2y. That will eliminate that one to the zero. This negative here will change the sign here to be positive. So 10 plus 5 is 15. So you have 15 here. So this reduces to 5x equal to 15. 5x equal to 15. So in order to solve for x, we divide both sides by 5. So x is equal to 3. OK? So now you will use this your value, x equal to 3. You will use it to substitute to either equation 1 or to equation 2. All right? So um, maybe substituting equation 2 will be easier because uh, you just have a single x there. OK, so let's say substitute x equal to 3 into equation into equation 2. All right? So if you do that, you are going to have that 3 minus 2y is equal to negative 5. You're solving for y. So uh, that means you're collecting like them. So you have negative 2y equal to minus 5. This very 3, you bring it over to this side. And it changes to, from positive, it changes to negative. Minus 3. All right. Um, so if you keep simplifying, you are going to obtain negative 2y equal to negative 5, negative 3. We'll give you negative 8. Then if you divide both sides by negative 2, so negative 2 over negative 2y equal to negative 8 over negative 2. So this crosses out, and then this gives us 4. So y is 4. y is equal to 4. x is equal to 3. And that's the solution. Any question? That's the last example we are go I'm illustrating today. So the rest will be a task you will do. So this is your chance to ask a question. By the way, this is algebra 2. This is also algebra 1. As a matter of fact, math 8 has it. There's system of equation in math 8. There's system of equation in math uh, algebra 1, in algebra 2. The same thing. The only reason why I am doing it here and pre-calculus is there are more difficult examples that we are going to start solving. And I don't want somebody to say he forgot, he or she forgot. Any question? Okay. So time now is 9.40. So if you don't have a question, I'm going to write it fast. I'll just give you two, exam uh, two questions. One will be substitution. The other one will be elimination. I'm very clear on the system, uh, the one, uh, the, um, the method that you need. So the question is x minus 3y equal to 1. And then 2x minus y equal to 7. The second question is solve by elimination method. Solve elimination method. So you have y equal to 2x plus 3, and uh, 2y minus x equal to 12. That's it. So this 